Hi guys, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Here we're going to take a walk around a Wells Cargo Road Force 7x16 enclosed trailer with a motorcycle package. So there's two main uh, options on this particular unit. One would be the bike package. Two would be the two-tone exterior with the diagonal strip. So let's take a walk around this unit, show you all the uh, standard features as well as the options on this one. So starting out, because this is what we would call a bike trailer, this has a 2x4 tube frame. You'll find some tandem axle bike trailers actually go all the way down to a 2x3 to keep the weight down. This 2x4 is a nice balance between uh, being able to haul general cargo and then lighter stuff like quads and bikes. So you'll notice on the front the uh, Line X or Armor Guard type material. Wells Cargo calls it Armor Guard, but it'd be similar to a truck bed liner. 2 and 5 16 inch uh, coupler. Notice it's got a Bulldog style. Uh, 2,000 pound A-frame jack. Of course, your safety chains, breakaway kit. It's got a seven pin, 12 volt plug, as is standard on pretty much most all modern uh, tow vehicles. It is a dual prong connection, so if you were to ever bend one of those prongs, you still got a good chance at having a connection. Two foot stone guard up front. You'll notice it's got an oversized five inch truck style top trim. It's also got a uh, side flow through vent, so it's got one front driver's side top and then it's going to be diagonal, so you have one also on the rear passenger side. It's designed to cross ventilate so all your uh, gas powered items can, uh, can easily vent. Also notice a very clean looking exterior, it's because this unit is a screwless exterior. It's actually got an O30 aluminum, a little bit thicker than some of the ones that are going to use an O24. It's also got the uh, tread plate fender, aluminum tread plate, gives it a nice clean look. It's got a Dexter brand axle, 3,500 pound rated. It's got brakes on both axles. It's also got the Easy Lube hubs and the newer style never adjust brakes. If you're not familiar, these brakes will afford adjust throughout the life of the um, throughout the life of the pad. And then also, sometimes you can get these with your finger when they're new. This one here, I'm able to get. It's so right behind. Uh, the black cap there, you'll notice a grease dirt. So a homeowner with basic hand tools can uh, can service your own bearings. No need for the um, for the uh, bearing buddies like we had back in the day. So this is a two tone with a diagonal strip. Notice the strip pretty much about splits your fender. It's also got the cast corners at the rear to give it a nice clean look. So the Road Force model has a couple upgrades in and of itself. You'll notice the dual aluminum handles. A lot of times you'll see one plastic or maybe one aluminum. Uh, this has the dual aluminum handles. Also notice the rear ramp doors all trimmed out in aluminum. You'll see a lot that'll leave that exposed, uh, uh, exposed uh, steel. Notice three hinges on the ramp door instead of two. Also you got grease zerts on the, uh, the hinges. Also notice this is the armor guard on the rear sill as well. So not only up front, but also in the back here. This jack style is a tubular jack style, not your swivel down style. This is more of a deluxe style jack. You'll notice this is all made out of tube. It's a continuous piece down. There is no pivot point to weaken the jack assembly. So nice setup there. Those jack stands are part of the motorcycle package on this. So we'll show you the inside, show you some of the other uh, features part of the unit and also part of the bike package. So these thin strip LED lights are standard equipment. Also got a ramp flap extension. Notice that's a little bit heavier, wider hinge. Also got a little tighter screw pattern. Uh, we uh, unfortunately repair or replace ramp flap extensions uh, on some manufacturers quite regularly if they've got. You know, a wider screw pattern is here, a little bit nicer done. Little detail, but all those little details make a fairly maintenance-free trailer overall. You got your markers up top. They're the new bullet-style LEDs. So the bike package here is going to have standard D-rings. You notice they are 5,000 pound rated, same as your car trailers would have. It's got a set of wheel chocks. Now those wheel chocks are loose, so you can place them wherever you'd like. I just threw them in here roughly where they would go. Generally, your first wheel chalk driver's side is going to go a little bit farther forward out of the way. Second wheel chalk here, generally, we would keep somewhere uh, behind the side door or, or uh, toward the back side of the side door to make it a little bit easier to get in. 
You also notice the wall ties on this. So you've got eight D-rings, also eight wall ties. This one's also got an aluminum transition plate. So as you put the door up, uh, that'll go ahead and go up in the air. And then it's got a nice tapered edge to it. You can roll anything from caster wheels to motorcycles in with peace of mind. So on the Road Force, all units are going to be 6'6 standard height. So you got a little bit of extra headroom. As with all Wells Fargo's too, you've got a one-piece aluminum roof. And then also on the Road Force series here, you'll see tube studs. So in the walls and ceilings, is all going to be tubular studs. Notice that is a 16-inch on center uh, on the ceiling. It's also going to be a 16-inch on center on the wall. Notice the Drymax material on the wall and floor. It is an engineered wood product. Uh, a little bit different than OSB. Some folks call it OSB, but it's it's going to be a different product again. Um, this here is uh, made out of more hardwoods, where OSB is going to be more softwoods. Uh, this is sanded. It's also got more resin to it, and it's compressed tighter. It's a it's a heavier weight board. So again, that's a, a Drymax product. Also, let's walk back to the ramp door. I want to show you, this is also a dual spring ramp. Uh, a lot are going to use a single spring, so a little bit nicer setup there. You also notice two LED dome lights instead of one. They're also tied to a wall switch. Now I'll show you the outside of the door. That is an RV style door. It's foam filled. So it's not a hollow house built door with the uh, strap hinge. It's a little bit nicer looking door. Again, RV style door. It gives it a nice clean look. If we were going to do one additional thing to maybe dress this up, we can add aluminum wheels. Nice part is they are bolt on, so something fairly easy to do. So stick our head underneath the trailer. We'll show you this unit is undercoated. So it's going to be a little bit uh, more uh, resistant to uh, some of the harsher climates. You also notice it's got uh, a vapor barrier coming up about a foot uh, on the side of the trailer to prevent electrolysis and be where you'd have dissimilar metals between the steel and aluminum. This makes it a little bit more corrosion resistant. This does come in different colors and sizes. Shown here is a 7x16. We also stock this in a 7x14 and 7x12. It's a 7,000 pound GVW. The trailer's going to weigh about 2,300 pounds empty. You give a net legal payload of about 4,700 pounds plus your tongue weight. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.